In this video, we're gonna be going over the top five problems on this Toyota Camry. This is the XV30 generation, 2001 to 2006. Now there's nothing wrong with this vehicle. There's nothing wrong with buying one or owning one. Every car has their problems. These are the ones that we have found. Number one, the O2 sensors. Now the front O2 sensor is located right here. This is what's going to change your air fuel ratio. This is the O2 sensor that is in front of the catalytic converter. This one monitors the air fuel coming right out of the engine. And if you follow the exhaust down the cat, the back O2 sensor or number two O2 sensor, or sometimes called the downstream O2 sensor. Now what this O2 sensor does, it actually monitors the catalytic converter and ensures that it's doing its job properly. So some of the different symptoms you may notice if you have bad O2 sensors, with the back one, you may only notice a check engine light. Um, if you have some exhaust leaks, you wanna check those out first before just replacing the O2 sensors because that can cause a false positive problem. Some of the symptoms you may notice with the front O2 sensor, the vehicle may not respond normally, your fuel mileage may go down, and you'll have a check engine light with a P2238. You also want to check for exhaust leaks and also intake leaks, which could give you a false positive reading. Number two, the intake manifold plenum. Now you may notice a rattle noise coming from the back side of the engine, and it has something to do with the internals of the intake manifold breaking apart and something with the way the mold was made and the only way to fix this problem is to replace this intake manifold. So you may not notice any type of drivability issue, you may just notice some kind of rattling under your hood. Number three, valve cover gasket. Now you may notice on the top of the engine some traces of oil leaks and eventually this gasket actually breaks down and it's not fairly difficult to change or anything. You just pull this cover off. There is a couple nuts on there. You're gonna have to take the coils out, disconnect these hoses, and pull the nuts and bolts out of the top. Now, this gasket is a rubber gasket. It's not just RTV, so you're gonna wanna get a rubber gasket, but fairly easy to do. Number four, the EVAP charcoal canister. Now it's located right here above this rear subframe in the back. It's somewhat difficult to get to. Um, you can potentially drop the exhaust and try to sneak it out there. That might not be the easiest for you. Easier than that would be to drop the suspension and then you can access all the hoses and stuff that are on the side. Now some of the symptoms you may notice, you probably won't notice any drivability issues what you could get is a check engine light with a P0440 or a P0442 or 446. Now, whenever you get an EVAP code, you always wanna just check your gas cap, make sure it's not something simple. But most of the time, it's that canister, it's gotta be replaced. Number five, the accelerator pedal position sensor, or also known as the APP sensor. Now, what we all call it is the gas pedal. And what it is is that sensor right there. Now, sometimes you could have a bad connector or a loose connector causing this. What it'll cause is a engine code with a P2121. And the best way to fix it is to replace the sensor itself. So just double check that connector, make sure that connector looks good and there's no corrosion in that replace that sensor, clear the code, and you should be good to go. So those are the top five problems that we have found. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.